Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. They are focused on the current energies between you and the individual you're dealing with. I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify. So before I begin, what I'm picking up is that some of you are going through an experience where there's a part of you that feels a sense of curiosity. It feels as if there's an energy inside of you that feels confident that whatever difficulty you have, you're going to be able to resolve it, okay? So this feels like a seed that has been planted inside of you. It feels as if it's sprouting out during this time. You may have went through some very dark and difficult times in the last few weeks or perhaps in the last few months, but it feels as if this is a sense of hope that I'm picking up on, okay? And this type of energy means that you're being prepared for something. What exactly that is, we don't know yet. But it feels as if there's this energy occurring inside of you that is preparing you for something that you're completely unaware of. It's very distinctive from these cards in front of me. What I'm also sensing is that there's been certain issues here that you haven't been able to gain complete clarity on. It feels as if some of you went through some experiences where your feelings were all over the place. And you were trying to figure out what you were feeling. You were trying to figure out what this individual was feeling. It feels as if there might have been echoes of the past that were playing a role in terms of the situation. So in the present moments of those experiences, there might have been, you know, experiences and events that kept popping back inside of your head. And it definitely had an effect upon you. So I feel like a lot of you were thinking about something constantly and you were trying to make sense of it, okay? Now, I also see that from these energies, there's a sense of looking at life from this perspective where you're trying to allow yourself to fall into this peaceful flow. You're trying to allow yourself to be a part of an experience where things happen in a way in which it's in keeping with serendipity. So I feel like something is going on inside of your nature during this time. It's a very interesting energy. We are going to be exploring it. So let's begin the reading. Now, from the first card that is showing up for you, I get the impression of some big, big changes. It feels as if you know, there's certain cycles that have come to an end. There's new cycles that are beginning. And this is going to have a very big effect upon your life. I feel like you're walking into the distance and you're going in search of something. You're looking for something that can provide you with a sense of freedom. You're looking for something that can allow your soul to just be who you are, to allow for the experience of um, you know, your curiosity to come forth. It feels like this energy of expansion. It feels like this energy of growth. It feels as if you're going through a very unusual stage in your life right now. And perhaps, you know, that sort of burdens that you were carrying on your back, you feel like you're trying to ease the load. That's what I'm picking up from these energies. We will come back to them. Now, what is the energy connecting both you and the individual you're dealing with? Now, I feel like something may have come to an end. There's an energy here of where things have changed. There's also an energy here of having and experiencing an event that has really shaped your life in a way in which you're looking at this relationship and asking yourself, you know, what will bring you real happiness in your life? Because I feel like you might have been making sacrifices before. It feels as if you might have been putting up with situations and circumstances that were not enhancing your world. And what I'm sensing is that there's an element of stability that has been shaken up between you and the individual that you're dealing with. 
I feel like at this stage in your love life with this individual, it was supposed to be a time of enjoyment. It was supposed to be a time in which both you and this individual feel a, a level of comfort, a level of understanding with each other. But I also feel like that is not being really achieved here in the way that you would like for it to. So the universe is letting you know that you're going through some big changes right now. And there's certain things that are happening in terms of your nature where you're starting to see things differently. But there's also this energy of where, you know, something that you could rely upon or someone that you could rely upon, you know, this expectation of what this relationship should have been. It was supposed to be a time of enjoyment of love enjoyment and happiness and celebrations but it feels as if something came to an end and really shook things up right from the person that you're dealing with i see that this person does have love for you okay but i also feel like this is a love that they think about but this is a love that they're not really taking action about I feel like you are on the mind of this individual and they do have a lot of thoughts about you. But I also feel like it's very spiritual based. That's why you've went in search of something. Perhaps you're searching for yourself or you're trying to figure something out about your own innate nature during this time. But I definitely see that there's many complex energies playing a role in affecting how your relationship is going forth during this time. So let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading where I'll be going into greater detail about these energies. I see that this person that you're dealing with has a particular way of doing things. It feels as if there's this element of slight stubbornness. They like to do things in a very set sort of ways. And I feel like whenever there's a need to do things differently, they always revert to these behaviors. So you may have felt as if certain patterns and um, sort of uh, things that they've been doing is being repeated. That's what I'm picking up from this individual's energy. This might have been directly challenging your relationship with this individual because I feel like your soul is going through change and expansion during this time. This individual is thinking about how things were done in the past. So there's a very big difference here. I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. For some of you, this experience that you're having with this individual might feel like some sort of repeat of the past. So I feel like there could be, for some of you, a past life experience that you shared with this individual. There's an element of what I'm picking up from their soul energy, which shows to me that there's certain patterns and behaviors that are not just from this lifetime. It could have been incorporated from a previous lifetime. I do feel like this person has um, loved you and carried that love for you even before they met you and it wasn't activated until they met you. So that's definitely a very strong message from Spirit during this time. But I'm also sensing that in terms of their energy, they think about how things were done. And so there's a difficulty in doing things differently during this time. And I feel like from your energy, you're looking for growth, you're looking for expansion, you're looking for change. And so you see it's directly clashing with each other.
I feel like someone stopped interacting and engaging with the other person. There was a flow that was occurring. It's a flow of dependability. It's a flow of, I'll do certain things for you. You'll do certain things for me. This might have been unspoken. It might have just been the two of you being there for each other. Feels as if that came to an end and that is definitely affecting the situation to a very large degree. What I'm also seeing is the element of stability, the element of expectation and how things were being done that's clouded by a lot of things that are on the scene. There's an element of fantasy that's playing a role here that's determining how this relationship is moving along. It feels as if in terms of your soul journey, you're looking for growth and expansion. This individual is doing things in an old-fashioned way. I'm sensing that the flow between the two of you may have been shattered at a certain point. I'm picking up this energy of where you know, the stability and uh, what was supposed to occur between the two of you, because it feels as if the two of you were supposed to enjoying your life with each other right now, celebrating life and exploring the world together, but it feels as if that has been jeopardized as a result of certain very minute sort of energies that are occurring within this individual and within yourself. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are walking the road of life alone right now and it's scary, it's lonely and I feel like you want to come back together with this individual. There's a sense of abandonment where you feel as if, you know, you have no choice but to walk this road because this individual is not coming with you on this journey even though you would like for them to be a part of it. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at the feelings and thoughts of this individual, as well as exploring the energies on a soul level between you and this individual concerned and providing you with insight and guidance in terms of how you should move forward. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.